Hi everybody, Ruben from Rome Drum Channel again and today's topic 5 tricks Steve Gadd used the most to improve instantly your drumming. Please like and subscribe this video and leave a comment and a thumb up that will be so appreciated. Okay guys. And I know a lot of people say why you invest your time in this because there's one Steve Gadd and you'll never be able to drum like Steve Gadd. And that's totally true. Totally true. I agree with it. But if you want to improve your playing, why not look at the masters? I think Steve Gadd says in an interview that's the most important thing. In the old days, he could sit in his hometown and watch Gene Krupa playing. And he watched every movement and every touch and every phrasing and everything to copy from Gene Krupa. So I think that's a good thing. First trick is his touch. And we don't gonna play very fast fills here. We just invest in your timing and your playing and your sound and your groove that musicians want to play with you. That's the most important thing. The most people play like this match grip. And I had a comment from somebody who said, man, you're pinky. That's not right. Well, the master does it. And he does this because he played marimba. And this is really the marimba thing. A combination of the spifak technique. So your fulcrum is here. So your pinky has no use at all. So for the balance, it's very nice for your relaxed playing to play. These fingers have no part actually in your drumming see him playing really slow in slow motion he really used his wrist and let there be really a full stroke when he plays a backbeat. So always hitting at the sweet spot. You know, that's really important. The sweet spot. I'm always saying that. Why? Because there your snare sounds the most big sound. If I play here, I have less sound. So you want to play in the middle. The motion is up. So we have a very short, very short sustain. And that's really important to have a short sustain. The hi-hat is mostly of the times really glued, I call it, long notes. So that's really a downstroke a lot of times instead of short notes long notes. So in the hi-hat you have a big distinction between long notes and short notes. Long notes, short notes. And at the snare drum it's the same thing. So when you do the full stroke you have a really short note. Okay, where you do the sticky thing So then you glue the thing together and what my observation is about Steve Gadd is that in the early days, you know, in the 70s and the 80s, he plays very light and very short. So 
it are really full strokes with a lot of up motion. You know, the Tom's gonna sing them. But nowadays, when you see this video, Then he plays Country Road with James Taylor, and then it's really all glued together, you know. Play legato, so you bind all the notes together instead of staccato. It's a small thing, but it's really important. So watch all my videos on my YouTube channel. It's all about Steve Gadd. Please like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And please subscribe to my channel. Then you get notified if I give you tip number two. Tip number two or trick number two. So see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>